Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Ever since I was a young boy, that's the who bringing us back. Thanks for hanging out with me, 7 till. I'm Jim Blasting Game. Thanks for hanging out with me. Ruth Sherman's our guest. Great member, outstanding member. Very, very important member of our brain trust. Author of Get Them to See It Your Way, Right Away. Uh, she, Her company is Ruth Sherman Associates. Is that right, Ruth? Did I say that right? It is, yeah. You can find me at ruthsherman.com. ruthsherman.com. The book is available wherever books are sold and... I'm sure she can find out more about it on the website. Ruth, tell us what you what you do for your customers. What I do is I help people become great communicators, great speakers, and media darlings, Jim, so that they can connect with their <laughs> customers and clients and get more business. Well, it says I think that I think at least one of the politicians need to needs to find you and 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 uh, and, and benefit from your your advice and your expertise. We we kind of we kind of picked on President Obama in the last segment, but only because we have. A, we have more of a record of him, and we got, of course, on the Republican side, we've got uh, we've got Romney, we've got Perry, we've got mm-hmm. Bachman. Those three mm-hmm. are the main ones uh, mm-hmm. right right now. And yes. uh, what do you think about their communication styles? Well, you know, Romney still, and this is a, and a long time problem for him. He still has difficulty connecting. He doesn't really. He's sort of challenged in the charisma department, I think. And he's a handsome he, guy. How, what, what's what's wrong? I. I honestly don't know. I, I think that he... Did he try too just, hard? He's very wonky. I was watching his, him in a debate, you know, and there's another one coming up on Thursday. I was yeah. watching him. His, his language is very clipped. He speaks at a very fast rate. He just epitomizes perhaps the whole Wall Street um, yeah. sensibility. Yeah. And that, I think, for people right now at least is a turnoff, although he's a skilled guy. Um, the other thing that's happening for him, of course, is that he's running away from his record as governor in Massachusetts, yeah. and that it, that impacts his ability to be authentic. You can't just do stuff and but then you know, say that I in didn't, America, I didn't we, mean any of it. In America, know? we redeem people. I mean, look at Charlie Sheen, for God's sake. I mean, you know, he's, he's in the process of being redeemed, that, that horrible right. human being. <laughs> and so right. we, we redeem people in America. So, I mean, I, I think he can get over that. What about... What about Perry? Now he's kind of he's kind of the other side of that spectrum, isn't he? He's the opposite of that. He's got charisma galore. He's got a, uh, he's, got a, he's, he's, got a, very... uh, he's got a straw uh, out of the, uh, you know a a, a, hay, a hay straw out of the side of his mouth and <laughs> a good old boy, <laughs> good old boy kind of guy. Well, you know he's got that uh, ability to connect. He clearly has done it in Texas for a long, long time. Um, one of the things that he's got to watch out for, he needs discipline. He cannot be he, mm-hmm. if he wants to be president. He has to remember that the country is not just Texas or just right. not the Southwest. Yeah. It has to be, the whole country's got to be president of the Northeast, of the left coast, of everybody. That's what so regional thinkers out. have to think about. You know, you, New Yorkers sometimes forget that they're, you know, everybody's not a New Yorker. And, That's right. And, and Texans sometimes forget that everybody's not in love with Texas. And, and that's, that's, hard on, that's hard on them sometimes. And, well, and, it's cultural. It's cultural. Right, And exactly. um, we have different cultures in this country, de- depending on the regions. And, uh, what about, so that, what about that's Bachman? Scary. You know, don't write Bachman off. That is my advice to everybody. I, Bachman is a smart cookie. She, is, uh, she tells a story better than anybody on that Republican, uh, in that Republican uh, caucus at this point. Or you can tell, you, when she talks, you can tell that she really believes what she's saying. She totally believes what she's saying. She's passionate about it. As I said a moment ago, or as I alluded to, she's very good at explaining complicated things. Now, I can't evaluate whether her explanations make sense, because I'm not a tax attorney, and I don't do policy. But when she explains something that that seems complicated uh, to the voters, people get it. They look at it, and they say, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So I think Michelle Bachman is still in the game, um, even though. How does she? What does she have to overcome? The glass ceiling thing for for the presidency. Yes, she does. How much? Of, how much of that is still there after after it's there? After, it's after, there. Uh, you know, after Hillary ran, I think right. people aren't speaking about it as much. They're not going to be as in your face about it and as as unself aware. 
Yeah. Uh, so there's more of an awareness, but it certainly is still there, and um, she does have to overcome that. You know, that that's, a, again, a cultural mm-hmm. issue. But, and, but, that's, um, but that's part of her communication, isn't it? I mean, she has to make, part of it. She and has one to of the help people that I've get comfortable that she, with that. Yes. And one of the things that I've noticed that she's done, Jim, and, and this is something that everybody else can look at, is that she's lowered her voice. Her voice yeah. uh, with everybody. This is men and women, yeah. but women get nailed for it more. When, we under, when we're under stress, our voices tend to rise in pitch. Right. And what she's done, somebody, and now she's a good listener. She's listening yeah. to her handlers. That's, one of, the, that's um, one of the unfortunate things. When a guy gets loud, he just gets louder. When a female, right. when a lady gets louder, she sometimes gets shrill, and that's well, that's, that, that's right. Then the voice just rises, and that's and, and that's and that's a communication training thing she has to work on, isn't it? And she is. Yeah. So Keep again, watch, don't watch, write don't write her off. Watch for that this week, Ruth Sherman, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Ruth, for being here. We'll see you next time. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Jim. Have- Gotta go for this hour. I'll be back tomorrow. Stay with me. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited.